Saiyan Army. So what you're seeing on your screen now is my Saiyan Strength and Aesthetics program. Week 4, Hell Week, 10 sets of 3 reps with 275 pounds on the incline bench press. So let's get into the topic of today's video and that is a question I got on Snapchat. By the way, if you guys aren't following me on Snapchat, follow me at Goku Flex unless you're a Yamcha. Then don't. So one of the questions I got was, Matt, when doing my heavy compound lifts, should I focus more on the contraction or on moving more weight or the weight? Should I focus on the contraction or the weight? Now the simple answer is both. But let me explain a little bit further into detail. So when I'm doing this workout in particular, there's two things going through my head. One is to get the damn weight up or else it will crush me and I will fail. Two is to keep my, per my form perfect. So I'm trying to keep my form perfect and tight as possible. And the reason being is if your form is perfect, especially on these big compound movements, then the right muscle groups will be working. Cause, so I know that if my form is perfect on this incline bench press, my chest is working, my shoulders are working, and my triceps are working all in unison to get the damn weight up. And because it's such a big compound movement, it's harder to feel the isolation of your chest because your triceps and shoulders will be working as well. Which is why I focus more on the contraction with the machines. So are the muscles working? If your form is perfect, yes. And that's as simple as progressive overload is. Um, back in the video I did with Tehran, um, I was joking about the hypertrophy range being six to eight. A lot of you guys didn't catch the air quotes and the fact that I said, but really you can gain muscle at any rep range. And yes, that is the truth. You can gain muscle at any rep range. This is three tenths, 10 by three at 275 pounds. Let's say last time I did this workout, I did 270 pounds for 10 sets of three reps. Okay, that five extra pounds times three reps is 15 pounds extra every set. Okay, times that by 10 sets, that's 150 pounds more total volume that I did in this workout. And guess what the 150 pounds equates to? more gains and that's as simple as progressive overload is it's just getting a little bit stronger or adding a little bit more volume it's simple as that and the easiest way to equate that is by total tonnage being moved so that's how you make gains and what i noticed too as well is the stronger i got on my incline bench press the bigger my chest got the stronger i got on my overhead press the bigger my shoulders got the stronger my front squat got the bigger my legs got and the stronger my deadlift got, the bigger my back got. And these are that, that's why you focus on these main compound lifts is because you can go a lot heavier than you can than in you know more isolation exercises and that weight is really gonna help you grow. So where do I focus more on the contraction? And that is when I do my accessory work. So my accessory work is major a lot of machines. I don't do too much dumbbell accessory work anymore just because I feel like it's hard on my joints, especially after doing 10 sets <laughs> on the incline bench press. It's, you know, it's hard on your rotator cuffs, it's hard on your shoulders, let's be honest here. So that's why I do lots of machines. Also, I like the machines because it helps me isolate the muscles. That's what machines are made for, to help you isolate the muscle. So what you see me do after this is do behind the neck press. Yes, is that a, yes it is a compound movement as well, but it's not as big as a regular overhead press. And without even trying, I can feel, it lights my lateral head shoulders on fire, it lights my traps on fire, and it feels amazing. Later on, I'll do a tutorial on how to I like to do this exercise. I really think it's a really good exercise for those of you guys who wanna, you know, get a stronger overhead press and need an accessory movement, or just people who wanna make some shoulder gains. Later on, you'll also see me do my hammer strength bench press. Even with that, I'm not focused too much on the weight. I've been doing the same weight for the past month on that hammer strength press, but I'm just focusing on the contraction and really that squeeze because What's more important, me getting stronger on my incline bench press or me getting stronger on the hammer strength press? The incline bench press because it's gonna yield me more gains. Then I do some side laterals and even those, you'll see, um, not on every rep, but on a lot of the reps, I like to pause at the top. And instead of pausing, could I do more weight? Yes, but I prefer to pause just to really get that contraction because I like the way it feels and I focus more on the contraction because that's what 
these machines and these accessory movements are for, are to feel the contraction. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Simple answer is focus on weight when you do your heavy compound lifts, perfect form and lift heavy and you'll make gains. For your accessory work, focus on the contractions, gain that squeeze and you'll be fine and you'll make gains. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Go and kill your workouts today. Much love, strength and honor. Aloha. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! Immortal!